Good morning. This is the carnivore homestead. I've had a lot of people ask me on how to clean. This is a milking, a portable milking for a cow or a goat. And you can get it off of Amazon. It's actually really clever. It's about, not quite, about 250 bucks. Or 140, I think it is. That's what it is. Anyway, this is not the best jug. It does rust because I use chlorine. So that means it's not a total stainless steel and the weld is bad quality so and it had a lot of that in the reviews anyway um, I'm gonna go over really quickly on how I clean it because a lot of people take this apart and you don't have to because I have real milking equipment and you do not have to take your hoses apart so this is how we clean it and I did work at a registered goat dairy and this is how they cleaned it so when you're done milking um, this is a one gallon bucket. I have a five gallon bucket outside with my real bigger gear. This is a one gallon bucket. You fill it with hot water. You take a little bit of bleach. That's probably two tablespoons, maybe three, because I like to get about a 10% bleach rating. Uh, you fill your bucket. I use cold water majority of times. Chlorine doesn't care if it's cold or hot. And then you turn your pump on. And it immediately sucks the water through your milk line. And that's all you need to do to clean this. So you let this run until it sucks. This is just about the entire gallon. And then I'll show you on the lid. Because there is a check valve on that lid, and I'll show you how to clean that so you don't suck water later on, which I did. So it's really simple. Sucking it down, as you can see. See how it sucks air? It's sucking air. You just put it back in the water, and it sucks water again. And this is chlorine, so it'll clean your lines. Taking all this apart is not necessary, and it, it weakens the line, so you have to replace it quicker. So there you go. It's clean enough. It sucks it all out. You can see how clean it is. Okay, so I always save a little bit of water at the end. Here it's sucking. It's sucking air. And you just There you go. So, here's the lid. Here's your check valve. And I got milk up there. So I put the check valve up. And I take what's left of my bleach water. And I rinse. I rinse my lid. There you go. And then now all I have to do is uh, finish rinsing my bucket. There you go. The, the seam is right up here. It's just underneath the neck and you can see where it's rusting. That means it's poor quality stainless steel, if it is stainless steel. Because I have real milk buckets out there and they do not rust because they're real stainless steel. So, but for a pinch, this is actually a really good setup. I mean, I, I admire it for 140 bucks. It, it does a, a good for milk job. And one go. Yeah, just for milking a goat. You can even milk two goats. But anyway, there you go. Thank you. Bye.